Hello, I am making a video on swabbing um, a LB agar plate um, to grow bacteria. And I'll make it um, so that kids can easily do it, hopefully. So the first thing to do is to get your plates right here. And these are from Easy um, Bio Research. And these plates were really good and they came with these sterile swabs too. So we have this. And the first thing to do is to use a Sharpie and you can open this plate and you can see that the agar is on one side and this part is empty, but you have to write um, what you're doing on the side that has the agar because you can lose the side. So I just write down the date, um, January 14th. And then you can write down what you're going to swab and in my case, I think I'm going to swab our kitchen table. So just put down what you're swabbing, kitchen table, and you can put the kid's name on it. I'll put Sharon. And there you go, you have it labeled. You can also put what time you, you did it, um, but I don't know if that's as important. So here you go, here's using a Sharpie, it's nice and labeled. And one thing that kids really wanted to do, that Nara really wanted to do was to touch the agar, so I think you can use a plate and let all the kids touch it, and it's fine to touch, it's safe. And it feels kind of squishy and bouncy, and that way they won't be tempted to touch um, the plates when you're actually doing the experiment. So this is nice and labeled. And now we're going to have to show the kids how to properly, gently swab the um, the agar without damaging it. And one thing I saw that Eliana did was she wanted to poke it, so she poked it and broke it. And you can do it with the test plate, you, you'll let the kids touch. Um, but, you know, if you want to teach them how to swab it properly so that you could see individual um, colonies of bacteria, you might want to do just use non-sterile, just regular Q-tips you can buy from the store. Um, and uh, one way to, to do it is just to show them, just use a cup of water and maybe some glue. So I'm using hodgepodge and maybe some glitter and that shows them how to streak it properly. So I have this like black piece of paper and I'll pour some glue on here um, and, uh, and I'll put some glitter in here. And so the glue acts like, you know, basically um, what the cells are living in. And the, I would say that the glitter are like the bacterial cells, which are so small you can't even see them. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on the glue to represent, you know, it, kind of like a mishmash of bacterial, you know, items in, you know, whatever surface you're looking at, kind of like a blown up view. So I'll just pretend and take this Q-tip that's not sterile, dip it in some regular water, and we'll try to kind of show the kids how to properly, you know, put this on the agar. So I'll just dip it in to this with the glitter. And the kids, the way to show them how to swab it is to gently stroke it over the um, black piece of paper. And so you'll see that the more you kind of swab it, the less glitter you get, which is kind of the, essentially what you would get with the colonies of bacteria. You want to spread them out so you can see the individual colonies growing. And so, you know, streaks are good. You, they can cross streak it. And then that will dilute it even more. You can see that now you can see the individual little pieces of glitter, the more dilute you get. So that's one way to show them how to, to kind of like as a um, prep <laughs> before they do the actual streaking of the plates. So there's that, and well, once once they're ready to go, you can show them, now that they know how to kind of gently streak the agar, you can open up one of these sterile um, swabs that the kit comes with. So here you go, don't touch the end, just touch the stick part, and use sterile bottled water. Um, they can use like the same bottle, as long as they don't drink it or do anything to it, and just dip it in. So it's nice and wet. And like I said, I was going to do the kitchen table, which is probably pretty filthy. So I'm going to go ahead and just swab the area, areas where it's probably super high touch. And um, then you take your plate. And then what I'm going to do is just go across it like this, like how I did with the glitter and the glue. And then I'll go kind of up and down as well. And that should spread out your bacteria pretty well. So there you go. Um, then you just tuck this back in and throw it away. None of this is toxic, so if the kids touch it, 
totally fine. Um, it's household bacteria anyways. And then um, you could put it in a an incubator, and I made a homemade one using a, um, a, a, a ceramic bulb heater, and I put it in like a fish tank. So you can see the setup I have here. Um, just a tank, and you can see the, the bulb in here. Here's my place that I put in last night, and I have it kind of strung up with a, a spoon, um, a metal spoon. So I'll take out one of these as an example so you can see the colonies that are growing in there. Put down my phone for a sec. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to bring these up. So you can see what I did for a positive control was I swabbed my mouth, which is filthy, has lots of bacteria. And you can see here that there's a lot of colonies growing. You see some condensation in the plate, and that water is sterile. You can go ahead and dump it out on a table or whatnot, but you can see all those little circles there. Those are all individual E. coli colonies, and these all came from my mouth. So <laughs> I guess uh, I have a pretty dirty mouth. And um, there's another one that we did, and the girls wanted to swab Nara's head, or the the baby's head so we did some for the the baby's head and this is what we got um so there's an interesting growth here i don't i don't think that's e coli but there's something growing here from the baby's head um this one is from my phone that nara did and you can see she didn't swab all the way around the plate. She kind of did a little small focused area, but it's she's still getting some some growth. So it did work out okay. Um, and then here's another one from Ileana. And this one you could see she did it too hard and kind of destroyed the, the agar a little bit. Anyway, so hopefully this helps and uh, I'll deliver some of these supplies to the school and uh, yeah, they should have a lot of fun with it. Okay, <laughs> bye.